Hi everyone. So I know I told you guys a little about about um about my injection yesterday, number six. Um, today I wanted to take the opportunity that I had and give you guys another update. So I'm still doing okay. I am starting to feel a little bit of a headache. I'm I'm hoping that it's not a spinal headache and that it's something else. Um, but I'm like I'm leaning kind of flat. I'm on the couch and like the the chair slides out and I have my feet up on it and I'm I think I'm as far back as it will go. And then um I have my my water bottle with me. This is like the best thing ever by the way because um it's insulated so I just put ice in it and it will like the ice will stay ice all day it's awesome because I really don't like drinking warm water I also have my um my Mountain Dew code red I found um Mountain Dew has the most caffeine in it soda wise I can only drink about one cup of coffee a day and then I'm like completely done with coffee but soda is a little more tolerable for me um, Mountain Dew, like plain Mountain Dew, I cannot stand the taste of it, but I found the Code Red has the same amount as caffeine as regular Mountain Dew, and the taste is tolerable for me. And then also, just because I love chocolate, I have my Swiss rolls, yum. Um, and you know, we all could use a snack, right? So, anyway, um, so. I'm really, like I said, I'm really hoping that this headache is, um, just, it's kind of hot, and then my, um, my arm actually is really tense. I've been trying to, like, reach up like this, and go back, and then, like, back this way, and trying to stretch it out, but I don't know. I feel like a massage would be really nice right now, but I don't... I really don't feel like driving anywhere just because um, the last time that I felt fine and then I went and drove somewhere it was I got I got to where I was going went into where I was going then got the headache from being up too long and then the drive home was awful even though it was only five minutes it felt like forever uh, so I definitely, I try not to drive the entire weekend after an injection because I try to always get my injections on Fridays um, to work around my work schedule as best that they can, like to give me time to rest up for Monday, I guess, so that I can hopefully go back to work on Monday and be fine and only take the one day off. Um, oh yeah, and then um, I think I told you guys all of this already. So they were going to... Um, they were, yesterday they couldn't get a hold, or yesterday they sent me home saying they couldn't get a hold of my insurance company, but then a little after uh, we left, they gave me a call and said that they were able to get a hold of insurance, so I went back after my injection for a physical therapy assessment, which by the way, if you ever do that after an injection, it's really, it's really difficult. Um, luckily this was like the easiest injection I've ever had. I don't really, like I didn't really feel it other than the lidocaine, like the poke of the needle and then the burning sensation and then next thing I knew we were done. I think I mentioned that already. But anyway, then, um, so yeah, they did my, my PT assessments and the Hammersmith is the one that gives me a little bit of a challenge and that one, um, I can't remember everything that they did, even <laughs> even though it was just yesterday. I know that's pretty crazy, right? And so, um, what I do know is they had me like roll over onto my stomach. I'm gonna try and show you, like, without with my hands up like that and roll back. That was I was able to do it, but it was a challenge for me. They didn't make me go sit on the ground. They just asked if I could do it, and it was like, no, it's the same. As last time, like, I, I can obviously sit on the ground, but I have to have, like, my hands have to support me. Otherwise, I'll just, like, sort of crash into the ground. And then, um, as far as I know, I still can't get up from the ground without using my hands. I will try that again probably in a week or so when I actually feel comfortable. 
getting onto the ground, slagging it back up when my back's not hurting. And then, um, also the stairs, that one I improved quite a bit on. So they had me go up the stairs, not holding onto my railing, alternating my feet, and I was able to do it and it was pretty easy for me. And then they had me go down the stairs, the same thing, alternating feet. Uh, no railing and I was able to do that too and that was a little more difficult um just because like I, I've always been scared of falling down the stairs and I I don't know if that's part of it but so there's that and then oh and then the six minute walk test I guys I did that with um with my hurt ankle and the physical therapist she didn't have my scores from last time with me but she thought that I improved on it from last time. And so I just, I did it without shoes on. <laughs> and it was, it was great. Anyway, I think that's it. Now I'm just kind of like, I, like, I have, I feel like I have a lot more energy again. And I, like, I know I should be resting, so I'm trying to rest. But I also feel like kind of, I guess, I don't, like, I don't want to be resting, so I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, I wonder, do any of you guys get like that after receiving Spinarasa, where you, you get the injection, and then you're like, okay, let me rest, but oh my gosh, I have so many things I want to do and get done. I'm just wondering if I'm alone in that or not. Um, yeah, anyway, I guess I'll probably just try and get some homework done or something while I'm still feeling, like, completely fine for the most part. And, um, probably watch some more TV. That's about it. I'm sorry I'm rambling on now. Anyway, I look forward to updating you guys again, um, hopefully next week later on. It, I have a really busy schedule for the rest of August with it being my, um, my, um, um, my bachelor's degree at the end of August, um, like all of that, working up towards that, I'm just pretty booked up for the month, and so there's that, anyway, I'm so sorry I keep rambling on, I will let you guys go, and I will, um, update you guys later, next time, thank you guys for watching, sorry that it was kind of just me rambling this whole time, I hope, um, I hope you still enjoyed watching. See you next time. Have a good weekend.